I will say that sometimes when I, cause I, cause I, I want to, I'm going to do this cause this is stuff I like doing. I will from time to time be fixing things and, uh, making things that will be tactical in nature. Um, I will never show a firearm on this channel. Um, I have my own reasons for that. Um, whatever you want to, you know, think of it, it's fine. But, um, I'm not going to show that. Um, I'm not going to talk about it. I will show eventually how to make knives and stuff like that. It's stuff that it's kind of simple to me. And once I show you how to do it, it'll be kind of simple to you too. But, uh, and I, let me rephrase that. I'm not going to show you how to do anything. I'm just going to show you. Things that get you, you know, inspired to go do stuff yourself. You don't need to pay people to make stuff for you. Just learn a skill. Run with it. So, that's kind of what this is. Um, I hope you like it. If not, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, if you do like it, thank you for watching. All right. Hey, I'm back at my workshop. Uh, and, um... We're going to do something a little different today. Uh, I found this this um, thing that I... It's it's something that I've had for a long time. And I'm like... Well, I, I, it was never used because it was not really usable. Um, it was meant for someone much, much larger than myself. Someone much taller. So I decided to, uh, you know, scale it down. And uh, actually make it usable. So here so we go. Here's the thing. It comes down way too low. And I you would obviously use this for an airsoft pistol or or whatever. Um don't come after me guys. <laughs> but uh what's cool is this was actually moted for a surefire light. And I'm not really I guess that's just to give a little bit of relief so you can actually pull whatever's supposed to go in here out. But, um, yeah, this was obviously meant for, for a much larger version of what I would use it for. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim right here. Go around. And I'm going to sand it and get it uh, pretty nice and... Uh, Good. Somebody's already cut the that side. That's looks like shit. I'm gonna have to trim that up and sand around there. Uh, and I'm gonna have to move this up, which I'm going to. It is on this weird little um, hub thing that you like push in here. And... Like it comes off somehow. Right? that so I am gonna fix this and I'm gonna re-rivet it and yeah here we go I'm not gonna show you exactly how to do everything I'm just gonna show you the pro you know j just you know updates of the progress and uh, this is not kydex by the way I don't know what the it's some kind of it looks like kydex but it's definitely not kydex it's uh, like some imitation just plastic all right I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to use a Sharpie and I'm going to mark out my line. Then I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut it. I don't like using Dremel tools. Um, I uh, enjoy using files. And uh, so everything I do on here, the rounding of everything, it's going to be done by hand with a file. And I'll show a, the starting of that process, but I'm not going to teach you how to use a file. Uh, it's a, it's a skill that you should learn on your own. Um, it's not as easy as it seems. Uh, it will take you a long time to get good with it, but once you get good with a file, you could basically make anything with a file. I, you know, that's just actual fact. Um, so to do the rounding on here, I'm just going to trace this piece of tape. So I'll go like right here and then
and that's what I'm cutting off on there. So, there you go. The reason for cutting this off is this comes up way too high on the piece that goes in. So, I need to cut this off, trim this off. Uh, I'll sand it. Uh, there's a lot of ways of sanding this. Um, uh, to, to get it, you, you could use a Dremel if you were so inclined. Or you could use a drill and just wrap a piece of sandpaper around the drill bit or around whatever. But uh, I just like using sandpaper and files. So there you go. All right. I'll get this part off and then we'll, I'll see you in the next portion. All right. Okay, so I got that roughly, roughly done with just a, a regular, just regular saw. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over this, take off all the points, smooth it around the edges with a file. And I think I'm going to use, let's see which file I'm gonna use. I'm gonna just use this one, uh, let's see. I gotta clean. I gotta clean that file, but uh, yeah, I'll go around there. Uh, if you get rust and stuff on your files, guys, um, WD forty, and just clean it with a uh, um, the way you would normally. Uh, where's the tool for me to clean it? It's a little wire brush, and I just just clean it. Just clean out your uh, clean out your tools, guys. I'm gonna go around there. We'll put this in there a little bit tighter. I'm gonna go around there and I'm gonna get that nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna polish it. Cause this isn't Kydex, but, and they did a kind of a horrible job polishing the inside. So I'm going to polish it. I might replace the, the rivets. Um, and uh, then I'm gonna repaint this actually. So yeah, alrighty. See you in a minute. Yeah, the plastic uh, is so is so soft that I did I just decided to sand it with a piece of uh, 80 grit. Then of course I'll polish the edges, but uh, yeah, the 80 grit's working pretty well. I think the file would have just taken way too many uh, way too much plastic. Um, so I'll file this. I'll get that nice little round radius. On both sides, you see a couple of high, high parts over here. Take care of that. I'll get this nice and symmetrical. And um, yeah. Okay, one thing I will show. Let's see if this will focus. Make sure that all your sand, when you sand, it's all going the same direction. And do not go heavy. Well, depending on the material. Hold on, I gotta put this back in. So try to make it uniform make it nice and smooth make it look like you've done nothing at all make it look like it's the way it's supposed to look and obviously well there's a high spot on the other side but obviously it's not how it was supposed to look you took a big chunk of shit off <laughs> so that's what it's going to look like. And yeah. Okay. So, one of the things I've decided to do is see how there's no beveled edge on there because I just took that plastic off. I'm starting to put a bevel edge on this side. I don't know if you can see that. But I am going to do a beveled edge going all the way around. Uh, so it just, it's not like a, a ledge and it just drops off. So I'm going to do a beveled edge going all the way around. And the way I do that is the direction I hold the file and I'm filing inward, but also fly, fly, filing in and, and up. So it's like, uh, so, so it's like I'm filing in, but up. So it's like. So it's going to give that bevel edge. And then I'm going to sand that with a hundred and no, a 1200 grit. Then I may go over it with 3000 uh, grit. 
just to get it um, really nice and smooth. I wish I could, I, I, I'm probably going to open this up, heat it up in a toaster oven, open it up a little bit, and um, after I take these rivets out, and uh, sand inside, thor you know, really, really, really uh, thoroughly. Um, I, I know these were factory made, but the, they just did a shoddy job, so um, I'm going to uh, rectify that. All right. Okay, so I heated up the plastic, and I put more, put new rivets. These are brand new rivets in, and uh, I'm showing this one because the other one, there's one down here that's actually just, it's just like a silver color, so this looks better like this. Um, all right. I gotta go over the edge here. It didn't expand or anything. It just, uh, Lifted a little bit so I could get in there, and uh, I used a drill and 1200 grit. Then I went up to 3000 grit, and um, yeah, it is like a mirror inside. So, uh, let's see if I can, uh, yeah, you can't see in there, but um, all right, now it's time for me to to uh, readjust the height of where this sits on the actual little paddle uh, that, that hooks onto the belt. All right. Okay, here's the actual mounting for it. Uh, huh. So essentially, I just want to move this up here, in between here. That's pretty damn easy, actually. Um, as soon as I get this one mounted, I can just drill through these holes, and yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and do that, and uh, see you in a minute. So I took it apart, and I seen that this was custom made for somebody, and uh, they've already marked sitter point. So now the only thing I have to do is get my little ruler out and adjust exactly where it should go. And Bob's your uncle, there you go. All right, so the hardware has been remounted. Those are the original holes. There you go. It looks off center, but it's actually not. I did measurements. It is perfectly, it's perfectly in the middle. Uh, the person who did this before didn't have the holes really lined up properly. So that's probably why this was in a bargain bin. Uh, it wasn't working out for him or her. So um, I'm assuming it's a guy because this, I mean, the way that this was uh, adjusted would have been like basically on your friggin' lower hip. Well, for someone my size. So, um, but yeah, this is all ready. This is all, everything works properly. It'll lock up perfectly. It'll, it'll lock up high. And that's kind of what I wanted. So it's going to lock up like that instead of way down here. You see how that's like a full, like a full inch lower. So that's going to be really cool. So um, I, I actually painted that with a Duracoat. I had this little bit left, so I, I painted it around that. Um, it doesn't matter, though. Uh, I mean, the, the little rivet thing. It doesn't matter. I'm going to paint it anyway. I just, you know, wanted to look nice before I did it. All right. So this gets textured uh, a little bit more because I don't really know if paint's going to adhere to this properly. So I'm going to texture this a little bit with some uh, sandpaper. And um, then I'm going to paint it. All right. So here's the first coat. Um I just want for, it, it, when you camouflage something, you're just trying to break up the color pattern. That's it. So it's actually lighter down here than it's going to be up there. And I kind of, and then I'll go back over it with uh, some, some more patchwork. I did accidentally, uh, well, I didn't accidentally. I just went ahead and sanded off the Duracoat. I already put on the that one, so it doesn't really matter. I probably shouldn't have Duracoated it, but you know, whatever. 
Um, I will not be painting the other side. It's just the surface. This is what I'll be seeing. This is great for uh, airsoft and stuff like that. If you want to like do camo, you don't have to uh, spend money to have somebody do your stuff. You can just do it yourself. All right, and um, so, uh, so yeah, I'll go back over it and I'll do some uh, more details. Probably add another uh, color, and um, yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, so this is the final product. This is basic camo. It's just to break up the the monotony of the same color. You know, it's just, you know, it's going to blend in a little bit better in the whatever environment. Uh, I didn't paint the other side, obviously. But, uh, yeah, this is a basic camo job. Uh, kind of gives it an animal look, you know, I think. But um, I was going to use these elastic bands and run them through here, but I don't know about that. I might use those for something else. But, uh, anyway, this is something that... With a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, you could do yourself. You don't need to pay to have somebody do something like this. You know, you could do this. I still got a little bit of blue there I need to get, right there I need to get rid of. But uh, yeah, there you go, you know. Awesome.